Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this week's Zaleb's Roll Call. We're switching things up a little bit and we've got our very first guest in the form of Pitch Black Afro who has just completed his comeback. We're also chatting about Casper Nuvest and the latest scandal that the Dark Dark Shebeleza rapper is involved in. And we touch on Maya Angelou and Kim and Kanye's big wedding. Let's head to the playroom and get started. Good day, good evening. We are chilling in the Zaleb's playroom with the one, the only, the iconic Peach Black Afro. He's the best. Yo, dude, like, I, it is such an honor. I grew up watching Are you music. Music. Ah, no, I'm sorry. I'm 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 It's just a pleasure to be here. I'm glad. You know me. <laughs> 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 So we, we published on Twitter and on Facebook that we're going to be interviewing you for the yeah. Zaleb's Raw Call. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people were shocked. Pitch Black Afro is back. Uh, Who is this guy? You know, like, yeah. tell us, where have you been this no, time? No, 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 I never registered, I, in a sense, but it's just that I know what I bought a studio. Yeah. And, you know, I felt it was time for me to go uh, 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 that route. Uh, of, of producing yeah. and trying to find a sound for Pitch Black, so music made by Pitch Black for Pitch Black, you know, that in, uh, for the people, obviously. But you know, well, that's what I and I kept uh, doing, you know, yeah. going behind the desk and and playing myself. Just keep up with my No, I love that. I love that. And just in a few short words, tell us a little bit about what people can look forward to from the new Pitch Black. Uh, uh, it's unexplainable. <laughs> just wait and see. You know, just, just wait and see. see. Yeah, 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 and uh, I'm like experimenting in like in the whole lot of sounds. So I wonder what, what will the, the, the product taste like. You know. So, but uh, yeah, man, it will be nice. I'm so excited. excited. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Guys, don't forget you can catch the full interview with Pitch Black Afro on www.zalebs.com. Pitch, thank you very much. Keep up, <laughs> Okay, so let's move along and let's talk a little bit about Casper Nyovest. He's the hottest rapper right now, but he's in a little bit of trouble. We had one of our beloved sources get in touch with us and say, he ruined my brother's life. Um, yeah, so when we first read the information, we were thinking, how on earth can the hottest rapper in South Africa be ruining your brother's life? Well, apparently what happened was there was a pickpocketing situation at one of Casper Nuvest's gigs in Mafikeng. And the very next day, Casper went onto Facebook and Twitter and all his social networks and told everybody, guys, next time I perform on stage, I'm going to go there with empty pockets because we have to be careful of pickpocketers. Which is okay. I mean, look, by all means, if you're going to go in with empty pockets, that's fine. But the poor victim with this whole situation can't even walk down the streets anymore because everyone's looking at him as Casper Nuvest's thief. We really would appreciate it if Casper would just come out in public and say, hey guys, I was joking. I know he wasn't pickpocketing me because that wasn't the actual situation. You can read the full story on the website and get Cabello's side of the story. We hope that this does get resolved quite quickly though because we never like seeing anything develop between fans and stars. That's how bridges and grifts get developed. Looks like this is going to turn out to be one dark, dark situation. Moving along swiftly, let's talk about Kim K and Kanye W or Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. The pair finally got married. Look, I was getting tired of reading all the rumors of when their wedding was taking place, who was coming, who's not coming, whatever. It finally happened this past weekend and Kim has officially changed her surname to Kim Kardashian West. Yes, that is an incredible mouthful. But look, I don't know. I don't think changing her surname was the right thing. We know how Kanye is. We know that he likes to be possessive and in control of everything. So we're sure he had a hand in this decision, but I don't know, I feel like Kim Kardashian is a brand. You know Kim Kardashian. It's gonna be a little bit weird going to your friends and saying Kim Kardashian West. In fact, I don't think anyone's actually going to change their minds over this and start calling her something different. We're all going to stick to Kim Kardashian. Just like nobody ever says Trani, we all say Pretoria. It's going to be one of those situations. Lastly, before we sign off, we just want to send our condolences to the family and friends of Maya Angelou. It was announced on Wednesday afternoon that Maya Angelou had passed away in her home after several months of 
generally poor health. It was really sad to find out the news, but she deserves to rest in peace after everything she's done. And everybody at Zaleb's HQ, as sad as we are, is happy that she can now rest in a happy place.